In this video number 14, we will run the SMRF design using frame CA. So I will just click this run analysis. Then I will run this. I will go to design and click this SMRF design. So this is completed and we will select this load combinations with earthquake load case. So I will just click OK and in this SMRF design it will it will uh, how to use this is just click one column and one beam. So this is the This is the procedure using this uh, design mode template or design mode is MRF. Okay, I will just click individual and the frame CE. will give us this design template so okay so i will just wait for a while so smrf design completed revise if needed so in the consideration here is this column and this beam okay i will just click ok and i will just uh, maximize this uh, excel So for the beam, this is the beam. So this is the seven meter length beam, and this is the informations. Okay. Then this is the the moment capacity and moment demand. So this is safe, safe, and this is the rebar. Okay. Um. This is the hoops or the stirrups so the, the spacing is uh, 100 mm so because we have your 500 mm so d over 4 so our effective d is let's say 500 minus uh, 4 minus 40 minus stirrups let's say 10 and the uh, bar diameter 20 so half of that is 10 so 40 60 so we have here 500 400 40 so let's say the spacing at, at this support is the over 4 so it will give us roughly 100 mm so this is it 100 okay and the legs is two legs okay so we can check it manually because we have the moment at the support and at the mid span so you can check manually if you want to find found out or find this rebar okay so it's very easy to do that we just have to we, ha we have the formula in rcd in fourth year college and we can do that okay next is for the column so we have this column checking so again this i, I will have this separate tutorial in uh, or I will have Excel to find this number of legs for the ductile detailing. So, so ductile detailing. Okay, so uh, I will just open this one. My column. Enable. So I have the separate checking for the beam and column shear ductility check. Okay, this is the separate uh, Excel. So let's say we have 400 by 450. So to build this one, also you have to. Uh, I will just upload a link and or you can PM me to build all of these materials. So for one four. 
20 mm so this is the shear the ductility uh, shear area required for the SMRF checking so we have number of breaks to provide 5 6 spacing so if we provide so in our case we have 400 and 450 so at 450 pace the requirements is 5 legs so meaning let's say uh, let's say I will just uh, make this as pattern to be able to easy for explanation so for example I have 400 and 500 and we have uh, 4000 PSI then we have the FY of main bar for 1 per megapascal and the shear reinforcing is 275 or this is grade 40 and this is grade 60 so we have main bar 20 mm and the hoops diameter or the tie diameter at joint so in this checking in this this checking we are dealing with, with at this portion at confinement only okay at confinement so the spacing at confinement is 100 mm we are dealing with this zone so because because this zone is uh the the shear is is lesser or the stress shear stress uh is less compared to this at the face of the beam or at the at this portion at confinement zone lo okay this is lo so we have here instruction here and also the code provision so i uh, i am explaining it to the online tutorials okay so this one is the the requirements in this column 400 by 500 at face uh, at the 400 face perpendicular to that face or at this direction the area of this how many legs is this the area of that rebar is this one okay and the area along this if the forces considered here is the area ASH is this one for the 500 phase so for this phase so 617 mm squared so this is mm squared you just divide it by the the area of the hopes let's say this is 12 mm the area of this is let's say 113 mm squared okay so the requirements is 5 and 6 so if you provide 3 and 5 so that is inadequate so you have to provide also 5 and 6 so but in this case if you this is uh, dependent on the concrete strength if you so we have your using 4000 we we get uh, we have the requirements 5 and 6 legs so i am i am preparing to this legs one two three four that is five legs in this case in this in this drawing so but if i make it a uh, three thousand that uh or three five that number of legs will be uh decrease because for, from the formula this is proportional to the concrete strength if, if the concrete strength become higher the number of legs will increase so for this two story we have let's say let's say 3500 uh prime of c we can uh, uh update uh, to have the to to monitor this number of legs so four and five is a good number so at, at the zone at this uh confinement zone okay and also the spacing is 100 mm and also at the ties at the uh this portion the spacing is 150 mm okay so that's it for the column ductility check so you can avail this excel okay so for the column beam so this is the strong columbic beam checking so this is the capacity of column and this is the capacity of beam okay so five uh six over five uh provision so greater than equal to six over five provision so moment capacity of column all over moment capacity of beam 
uh, shall be 6 over 5 or or this is 1.2 of moment capacity of column greater than equal to I mean the moment capacity of column is greater than 20% to the capacity of beam okay so also frame CE do this uh, checking and also for the joint frame CE do uh, do this checking so uh, okay so this is we have also a code provisions we'll just explain it separately so in this in the online tutorial or in the code you you, you can uh, find it to the code so it's not uh, not yet in this module so i will just uh, explain it in my online tutorial so this is how to use the i will just say accept Th this is how to use the smrf checking so for, for the other for this case let's say this column and this beam run this individual because we are in the smrf uh, design template okay so you can do it uh you, you have to you have to have your own design technique on how to how to do it um uh, effectively or do it easier so you have you have to do that because this software is very uh affordable and unlike the other software 10 times the price of this software okay but the capability is almost uh this is the capability of this what happened so i will just so, click where's the column so i will just click accept and I run it accept i will just run this one Okay, so I'll just click OK. I will just wait for the Excel to finish the task. Okay, so we have the column now, column design and beam design. So this is it. So now we will uh, run the. I will just click accept. If you want, if we want to to run the design plus plan we have to uh, we have to do that separate video okay so i'll just uh, end the video here